So I'm the chair of the New Roles Social Work uh, Group, and what we have been doing is looking at how to enhance and develop the role of social work across uh, mental health services. Social work is very important for the future of mental health. So as mental health services change and become less focused on um, perhaps a, a medicalised approach or, or inpatient services and more about community and prevention, um, that's where the skills of social work lie. So we want to make sure that we're planning for that future, um, for the delivery of the long-term plan and for social work to have a central role in that. I think what we wanted to do is to balance uh, the role of the local authority um, and communities with the role of the NHS and to try and look for a new model of partnership working um, that perhaps built on the uh, successes of the past 20 years of partnership working but also learnt from some of the mistakes and problems that we've had as well. Well for me it's about putting social work at the front and centre of mental health services. At the moment, 94% of approved mental health professionals who assess people under the Mental Health Act are social workers. So we will be launching a number of tools and support options for approved mental health professionals. We particularly need mental health social workers to work in the new community pathways that will be being set up as part of the long-term plan. We're also uh, looking at a new website for mental health social work leaders um, to try and ensure that all the information around this subject is in one place and very easy to find. The word new roles is very interesting because uh, I don't think that we are actually inventing any brand new roles. What we're doing is developing existing roles to be fit for purpose for the future of the mental health services. At the core of this is putting service users and carers, people who need and use services like social care and like the NHS, in the centre. They're the most important people, not the organisations. So we have to make sure that we're listening to them and that they are the centre of the care and support that we deliver. When we get that right, then the organisational stuff tends to flow much better behind it.